Hello and welcome to another season of Inside Bronco Football. I'm Bob Beeler. We're excited to be bringing you great visuals, awesome sounds, and the behind-the-scenes look at Boise State football. Each week we want to tell the story of Bronco football in a unique way and let you look into the lives of the guys who live it every day, the players and coaches. Here's our Tucano's Brazilian Grill menu for this week's show. We'll visit with Coach Harson one-on-one -on -one throughout the show as he tackles this year's team DNA, what we learned from the Ole Miss game, and a preview of the Mountain West opener against Colorado State. The Brian Harson era started eight months ago, and it has been a fast eight months. As we move into the actual 2014 season, the grind and hard work of fall camp set the tone for the year. and throw it. Like it. Like it. Better off We're always going against being average. It's natural to want to be that way. And my challenge to you guys is don't be that. Don't be average. Throughout tonight's show, we're going to go one on one with Coach Harson as we dive into 2014 head first. Here's part one. Coach, August fall camp is a time where a team kind of comes together, develops an identity. What did you see in your team coming together for the first month as uh, we got ready for the first game? What I saw was, was a group of guys from a player standpoint worked extremely hard to learn the schemes um, from springtime. They got better at it throughout the summer. You could see the development they had through the summer prep and trying to get themselves even better while the coaches are around. Coaches really studying players and seeing how they've worked, what they look like, how different they are, and then putting all that together. So um, it was really, you know, from a fall camp standpoint, uh, a whole lot of fun because there's a lot going on and, you know, everybody being new, the excitement and all that, and even for the season. Do you notice a lot of energy with the new staff and uh, yourself being first time head coach here? Um, a lot of these coaches have played at Boise State, you know, so it's not just. Um, guys that have been here, but you know, guys that have played here. I mean, so you know, there, there's some of that emotion of just being a part of the program as a player. Uh, the newness, you know, with, with coaches, the excitement of guys that haven't been here. And then I think for the players as well, I mean, you're just getting coached uh, differently, you know, by different guys. And I think it's exciting and, and, and it's something, you know, at the same time, I think everybody's anxious to kind of figure out how it's going to operate when we do get out there and play the game. And so, you know, it's a, it's a whole lot of fun putting it together. What impressed you most about the team and their work towards the first game? Uh, their consistency through practice. Uh, I thought the coaches prepped the practice as well. I thought the players went out and practiced really hard each and every time. And there was a purpose to every practice. So. Uh, from my standpoint, you know, you, that's really what you want to see, that you're not wasting opportunities to get better. We'll have more from Coach Harse in a second segment. As we head to break, we'll show you a little of the hype video that the team saw as the season opener awaited in Atlanta.
Okay, so you're officially off the clock. You better have a truck that can keep up. Ford F-150. From tailgating and touchdowns to suiting up and stepping out. It goes the distance with EcoBoost power and fuel economy. With all the slick details to keep you in the lap of luxury. Maybe that's why an F-Series truck is sold nearly every 42 seconds. Hey, get back to it, weekend warriors. Now get up to 8250 total savings or 0 for 60 plus 1500 trading cash on F-150. Do you ever ask yourself, is my business prepared for benefit changes due to health care reform? Is my business carrying enough liability insurance? Or has my personal insurance coverage kept pace with my life? At Morton & Company, we help Idaho business owners insure their greatest assets. For help answering these questions and more, call 321-9300. Morton & Company. Innovation. Integrity. Insurance. Call 321-9300. Morton & Company. Trusted since 1910. Visit your local Subway restaurants and ask for the 450 fresh value meal of the day. A different meal each day of the week. Mondays call for a fresh deal. Why not let Tuesday taste better? Hump day means one thing, Subway. Thursday rolls around and a good meal will tide you over until Friday. And nothing celebrates the weekend like your favorite regular six inch. <clears throat> That's the six inch sub of the day. Chips and a 21 ounce drink for just 450. Visit your local Subway today and ask for the 450 fresh value meal of the day. We're trying to be the very best and try to build the very best and trying to get better each and every day. Well, you're looking for things that can help you do that. They understand the protein and what they get from milk is really what's going to trigger their muscles to recover. We give it to them immediately after their workouts. You see the recovery. I think their bodies feel the recovery. Milk for us has got 90 essential nutrients. It's a superfood. It's been a product that's fueled Boise State for a lot of years and we've had a lot of success with. No matter who you play or on what stage, the season opener provides an opportunity to get some questions answered. For the Broncos, a trip to Atlanta and a primetime nationally televised matchup with 18th ranked Ole Miss provided that opportunity. Inside Bronco football crew takes us back to the Georgia Dome for our St. Luke's game highlights. St. Luke's reminding you that when it comes to your health, the best defense is a good offense. Boise State and Ole Miss in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game opening night of the college football. the outside. 
side and it's successful. Ajayi's first carry will go for a first down. So what did Boise State learn about itself from the opener in Atlanta? And how does that now translate into the work that needs to be done from week one to week two? For those answers, we continue our one-on-one -on -one dialogue with Coach Harson. We went in there to win the football game. You know, winning the game, that's what needs to happen. And, and it didn't happen. Um, there were some positive things out of that game. There were some individual players that did really well. I think there were some series in there collectively as a group that we did some really good things. Uh, but overall, it's a four-quarter game, and we need to play for four quarters, and we didn't do that in that game. So uh, that's been our talk this week. All right, we need to get out there and finish. Uh, we, we, we can take what we did in that game, some of the positives, learn from it, take the negatives, do the same thing. Don't just throw them away, learn from them. Uh, but I thought our guys played fast. You know, I thought on defense, you know, we flew around and, and uh, I thought our D-line, our linebackers in the run game are getting to the ball. You saw in the secondary, you know, we had three turnovers uh, back there. And so you see guys getting to the football on the back end as well. For me, the, the part that was kind of disappointing was getting to the five-yard line a couple of times, getting to the one-yard line once, red zone. You know, you just feel like you're right there. We, we feel like offensively we're going to move the ball. We're going to get down there and have opportunities. And that's, you know, those are your money plays. That's where it happens. You really get inside that 15-yard line, you get in that tight red zone. Uh, you got to find ways to put points on the board, and, but we want to score touchdowns. And you get that close, you're within a foot there. You got to find a way to get it in. Uh, we didn't do it. We'll go back. We look at it. We learn from it, and uh, you know we put ourselves in that position again. We're going to find a way to get it. In. Here are a couple of key moments from the Ole Miss game for us to recognize. Our Lithia Ford drive of the game was a sudden change drive killer by the defense. After an interception set Ole Miss up inside the Bronco 15-yard line in the second quarter, Boise State's D stuffed two straight running plays before safety Darian Thompson made a diving interception in the back of the end zone to keep the Rebels from turning their interception into points. It was one of three first-half picks by the Bronco defense. And speaking of big plays on defense... Cornerback Cleshawn Page was our choice for the Nampa Floors and Interiors Get Floored Hit of the Game. Several times Cleshawn's been active knocking folks around. Look at him attack the blocker. Some guys sit back and catch. Do you see what he did? As soon as that ball's thrown, he goes and attacks the receiver, runs right through and makes a great play. Win or lose, Boise State always implements a 24-hour rule following the game. Take 24 hours, learn from it, recap it, enjoy it, whatever it may be. Then check that game away and move on to the next one. Such is the case with Ole Miss, as Bronco players and coaches went back to work when most everyone else took a holiday weekend. Watching film and lifting. Now we're gonna hit the blue. Get ready for Colorado State. It's the home opener, so we're about to uh, get it going. We put Ole Miss to bed, and we're on to Colorado State, getting ready for that this week. Yeah, there we go. 
Hey, Broncos on three. One, two, three. Broncos. We've been serving Idaho for generations, offering fresh, quality foods at great prices and raising premium Northwest beef. Today, we're proud to announce that Double R Ranch 100% USDA Choice Beef is exclusively available at your local Albertsons. Just like our founders, Joe Albertson and Robert Rebholt Sr., we truly believe in quality, tradition, and supporting our neighbors. Double R Ranch, exclusively available at Albertsons. Looking for an easy way to shop for your next vehicle? Start at LithiaFordVoice.com, where you can search our entire inventory with a great selection of new vehicles, all with photos. Even stay up to date on special deals. And at LithiaFordVoice.com, you can even set up a test drive or make a service appointment. Better car buying starts at LithiaFordVoice.com. Lithia Ford of Boise, an official sponsor of the Boise State Broncos. This is a famous Chicago Connection hot oven delivery truck. Every day it delivers hundreds of delicious Chicago Connection pizzas all over the valley. Hot, fresh from the oven pizzas with lots of delicious toppings served on a tummy pleasing crust and covered with heaps of real mozzarella cheese. Ask for our money saving weekly special when you call or dine in. Chicago Connection, it's how you want your pizza. Regresaba a casa después de cuidar niños todo el día cuando mi carro se averió, muerto. Ahí mismo decidí buscar ayuda. Y créanme que la respuesta llegó como una luz brillando en la oscuridad. Ay, perdón. Soy gerente de una tienda Les Schwab cercana. Déjeme miro. En 10 minutos le cambió el cable a la batería y me puse en marcha silbando feliz. No quiso aceptar dinero, pero creo que le haré unas galletas. Soy Hillary Pluck y esa es mi historia de Les Schwab. Les Schwab, haciendo lo correcto desde el año 52. Anybody else think Coke seems to taste pretty great at McDonald's? Well, join the club. Is it because any size Coke is only a dollar? Or because fries and a Coke really hit the spot? Whatever it is, when any size Coca-Cola, soft drink, or sweet tea is just a buck, there's something for everyone to love at McDonald's. Welcome back to Inside Bronco Football. I'm your host, Bob Beeler. This season, we'll be introducing you weekly to some of the top talent in the Treasure Valley and around Idaho that have made their way onto the Bronco roster. It's our Hayden Holmes Homegrown Bronco segment. This week, we take a more unique approach as during fall camp, the entire Bronco team was introduced to one of the more popular homegrown sites in Boise. Here's how they got there. The view from the top always leaves us breathless because of both the journey to the top and the spectacular view from that high place. Woo! Yes! Try a little harder than you thought you should, so the reward will be bigger and better than you ever thought it would. Hiking, hiking up Table Rock. I ran it last time, but my legs ain't up for it right now. We must sweep aside the fears, the self-doubts, and the anticipation of failure and move the unstoppable determination towards the achievement of our purpose. We had to run this. Never would have made it. But let us never become complacent with being lost in the comfort of somewhere in between. For doing so, it will be said for of us that we never really played the game. Last day of fall cap, hitting Table Rock as a team, should be a good one. And this is where we belong, all right? We have to work extremely hard to get here. You guys know that, and everybody in, that's in this circle right here has done that through camp. That's been a tough camp, and you guys have worked hard. Over the past decade, Boise State football has established itself not only as one of the dominant programs on the field, but in the academic arena as well. Our Ford student athlete profile focuses on the Bronco program as a whole and the emphasis placed on graduation and taking care of business in the classroom. 
The reason we are successful is because we have great support from the coaches, from the head coach on down. Not everybody sees what we do in the classroom. Everybody sees what we do on the field for the 36 hours that we play our games, but they don't see all the work that goes in behind in the classroom, in the library, in the academic center, and, and with our tutors. Here, the thing that I really like the most, we have really good guys, and being smart and doing well in school is a cool thing. I think really one of the keys to our success is our emphasis on graduation. And we try to set up a plan that they're done in nine semesters. Your ninth semester, if you're a football player, if you redshirted, is your redshirt senior year. So our goal is always that you're finishing your academic career, earning your degree at the same time that you're finishing your football career. The staff is the importance they place in academics. We'll meet with our coaches every few weeks to have it at, just a report on basically where we're at, what we need to do to be successful. Uh, we're also very driven. It's a competitive competition we have with uh, who's on the 3.0 board, who can get the highest grades. I know that we have a 3.0 board with the A team on there, and that's, uh, that's very important for us. It really is a measure of our guys moving towards graduation. And so our APR has been one of the top in the country. We were number two in the nation last year. The new numbers will come out. You know, we've been in the, the very top four or five in the country for the last four or five years. And that's just a culmination of all the things that we do every day and that the coaching staff emphasizes every day. With this staff, a lot of them have actually been a part of it themselves, so they know what it's about. Uh, it, it all comes down to that. I think everybody's trying to do the same sort of things across the country, but it's the emphasis that's put on it by the coaching staff and the plans that we're able to put in place that uh, end up with the results. The best thing we can do here is come here for four years and get our degree and leave here with a degree that's going to help us be successful in the future. We're now down to our final timeout on this week's show, and when we come back, we'll preview the Colorado State game with Coach Harson. You're watching Inside Bronco Football, presented by Ford. The Larry H. Miller dealerships are proud to sponsor the Bronco Nation of Boise State with thousands of vehicles to choose from, in person and online. Backed by one of the largest dealer groups in the nation, your local Larry H. Miller dealer is ready to help you score big. Because whether you're changing your oil or even your car, we're all about you. So gallop into one of our dealerships near you to see what a better auto experience is like when the focus is totally on you. Larry H. Miller dealerships, driven by you. The best thing at Chuckarama is the carving station. As soon as I get there, that's where I'm going. Got the roast beef, the ham, the turkey. Oh yeah, the meat is juicy, cooked just right, tender, amazing. The ham, the outer edge, honey glazed, it's just perfect. With the roast beef, they have the sauteed mushrooms and onions, and you gotta have those. The turkey with cranberry sauce just tops it off. The choice mm. is yours at Chuckarama. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. Happy to help. There are all kinds of reasons to be glad you have AAA. Getting back on your way is just one of them. AAA. Keep life going. Okay, so you're officially off the clock. You better have a truck that can keep up. Ford F-150. From tailgating and touchdowns to suiting up and stepping out. It goes the distance with EcoBoost power and fuel economy. With all the slick details to keep you in the lap of luxury. Maybe that's why an F-Series truck is sold nearly every 42 seconds. Hey, get back to it, weekend warriors. Now get up to 8250 total savings or 0 for 60 plus 1500 trading cash on F-150.
This weekend, Boise State not only opens its home schedule, but also has an early season league and Mountain Division game against up-and-comer Colorado State. Kickoff is 8-15 in Albertson Stadium. Colorado State heads into the game with momentum after beating rival Colorado last week 31-17. In year three, under Jim McElwain's leadership as head coach, the Rams have made impressive strides over the past several seasons. A former Alabama offensive coordinator, McIlwain has a top-notch running attack, a veteran quarterback, and a defense with a big chip on its shoulder. In the final part of our one-on-one -on -one with Coach Harson, we get his take on this week's game and the Ram team. They had a big win against Colorado, a Pac-12 team. Uh, they played physical in that game, and uh, you know, as the game went on towards the third and fourth quarter, they really kind of took charge in that game. So, you know, we have a great opponent coming in into our stadium and uh, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to getting right into conference play. What do they do best? I mean, I, I thought maybe they'd have a quarterback coming in and sling it all around the park, but they ended up running the ball more. Yeah, well, I do think they have a quarterback. I, I think he can sling it. They didn't have to do that in the game. You know, you kind of saw as the game went on, they found something. They found the run game. They found two backs that can run the ball. Hart, you know, is a transfer from Alabama, but you can see the, the type of impact he has on that team already. Uh, O-line was playing well. So from an offensive standpoint, they got into a groove. And, uh, and really started, I think, physically just taking over the game. You broke down their offense a little bit. What about defense? Yeah, they mixed it up a little bit. They got a good four down look. They'll mix it up with some three down. So they'll give you a little four down, three down. Uh, you know, linebacker wise, they got good linebackers. They play the run well. And you can tell the reason why they play it because they see it from their offense. You know, so you see a team that plays the run well. I think in the back end, they'll mix it up just a little bit. They don't do a whole lot in coverage, but they play well. You know, safeties complement corners and so on. And, uh, you know, we have to go out there and we got to pick our battles, you know, of, of having our opportunities with some one on one matchups outside that we've got to win. Uh, we still have to establish the line like we tried to do in the last game. We have to run the football. So uh, we'll have some variety in there, but, you know, they're playing sound and that's what they did against Colorado on the defensive side and, and they play fast. So they're going to be sound and play fast and we have to be sound and play fast with them. Time now for our Milk Victory Keys to Victory. Getting into a rhythm offensively is atop the list. Colorado State has a good interior offensive line and two quality backs, so getting off blocks and filling gaps will be the key for the defense. Bottle the emotion of the home opener and the crowd. Speaking of the crowd, make sure you show up in blue. The color scheme for Saturday's game is a blue out. Make sure to visit any Treasure Valley Bronco shop to get your game day gear. Make sure you stop by the Bronco Radio Network stage at the Ford Fan Zone on Hall of Fame Plaza pregame to pick up the first Milk Victory Player poster of the year. That's all the time we have for you this week. Join us again next week as we bring you more Inside Bronco Football presented by Ford. Thanks for watching. I'm Bob Beeler.